back. It's time for the latest edition of Foodie Friday, you know, where we make you hungry. Last Friday, the duo visited Papa Grande's, but we're not done just yet with the Sodel Concept family. This week, Julian and Justina are diving into one of their restaurants that focuses on traditional seafood favorites. Check out this week's edition at Matt's Fish Camp in Bethany Beach. Welcome to another episode of Foodie Friday. This week we're in Bethany at Matt's Fish Camp. Now we know Delmarva loves their seafood, but this place is blowing the competition out of the water. Yeah, locals say they only reel in the best catch. So with that, Justine, are you ready? You know I am. This, this is Foodie, Foodie Friday. Friday. We play uh, real heavy on the fish shack um, of old old times with fishermen that come, you know, bring their uh, bring their their fish in from that day um, and serve it up for the for the local folks. Um, here we kind of play on that with a lot of southern flavors, so it's a really, really cool, fun food vibe. Maybe the best in the, on, the, on the shore. It's very good. I would say it's just a fun place. People are very uh, friendly and happy, and the food is good. Well, I would recommend any Sodell restaurant, but Matt's is a great one. Matt's Fish Camp is bringing in schools of customers, from locals to summer visitors who are ready to dive into some seafood favorites. The fish is always really fresh and has always been excellent here. All their seafood's amazing. It's a casual place. This relaxed fish shack is tipping the scales when it comes to fresh seafood options. So let's reel in our dishes. First off, the shrimp and grits. Classic Cajun broth that we use that we prepare ahead of time with fish stock, jalapenos, ginger, shallots, and blackening seasoning. We saute them down with butter, and then we pick it up with fresh okra, andouille sausage, shrimp, and charred local cherry tomatoes. I think when I take a bite of it, I think of North Carolina. I think of the South. I think of like seafood and savory and butter and summer and warm weather. That's what I think of when I take a bite of it. You talk about a flavor punch in your mouth. This is it right here. Now let's flow into our next dish, the fish and chips. The fish and chips is one of our, it's our star here at the fish camp. We use fresh caught cod um, and we cut it down fresh every single day because we go through so much of it. There's no chance to even let it sit for a day more. And so we batter it, we buttermilk batter it, flash fry it, and then we serve it with french fries. Uh, where what cut french fries, it's really good. When people think fried foods, they think, oh, well, it's just coming out of a freezer, and it's like a product that they bought, but they don't realize how beautiful fried food can be. And you batter it and you flash fry them just until they're done. And it's, it's a whole other way of cooking things that people just completely underrate. Last but not least, the grilled salmon. We showcase our fish here a lot, and salmon's one of our best. We grill it, a little bit of salt, and then we serve it over our fish board set. We go up the temperature, I suggest medium on it so that it's not super dry. Um, our fish board set changes every two weeks, so right now we're doing a, um, a yellow bean salad. It's the time and care that we take to make things. It's knowing that each dish that hits our window before it goes out to somebody's table has been properly cared for. So it's about how we prepare our food and the time, that thought, and care that goes into it. And it's also about keeping it fun. The family-oriented staff that we have really pours over into everything that we do. Um, you know, we call it the Fish Camp Fam, but everybody's got everybody's back, and we definitely are, are that family of a restaurant. And all the guests feel that. All right, and just some more info while you're sitting there salivating. They are located off of Coastal Highway in North Bethany Beach. There's also another Matt's Fish Camp in Lewis. If you do visit them, tell them that you saw them on Foodie Friday. And also, we want to know what place you want us to visit next. And you can tell us that on either Facebook or Twitter or email us at newsroom at 47abc.com. All right, with